Organ transplantation is a life-saving operation where an organ of interest is taken from a living or deceased donor and is given to a recipient who is in need. The reasons for transplantation are organ failure or missing organs due to genetic birth defects. According to the Canadian Health Institute for Research, recent statistics show that 4,573 individuals were seeking organ and tissue transplants in 2014. Over 1,600 individuals are added to the transplantation list yearly. From the waitlist in 2014, only 2,429 individuals across Canada received organ and tissue transplant. So what does it take to receive an organ transplant? There are multiple steps in the transplant process, beginning with a comprehensive examination, consisting of taking medical history and performing various medical tests. If the person is deemed a suitable candidate, he or she will be placed on an organ transplant waiting list. Important factors to consider in finding a compatible match with a donor include blood type, body size, tissue type, and medical urgency. Additionally, wait times vary depending on the type of organ and the number of available donors, so unfortunately, not everyone on the list will receive a transplant. What makes a successful match? When pairing an organ donor to a recipient, Genetic differences and the recipient's immune system must be taken into consideration. Genetic markers called antigens are present on all tissues and distinguish self tissue from foreign tissue. There are various forms of these antigens which vary from person to person. The more similar these tissue antigens are between the donor and recipient, the greater the compatibility and the greater the chance of success after transplantation. When an organ donor is transplanted into the recipient, it is important that their immune system accepts the new tissue and does not develop an immune response. However, in some cases, organ rejection can occur during or after surgery. This occurs when there are not enough antigens in common and the recipient's immune system detects the donor organ as foreign and attacks it. It is up to the doctors to find the best possible match in order to minimize chances of rejection. Common symptoms of rejection are flu-like symptoms after surgery and failure of the organ to function properly. The post-operative care is dependent upon the type of organ transplanted and each individual case. Patients that receive an organ transplant require suppression of their immune system in order to prevent rejection of the transplanted organ. These immunosuppressant drugs are administered during the surgery as well as after. Patients need to continue taking these medications throughout their lifetime in order to prevent organ rejection. The type of immunosuppressant medications, as well as dosage, all depend on the patient and how well their body responds to medications and the transplanted organ. So stay tuned for more information in our following video, Kidney Transplants.